God bless you, everyone. My name is Dave, and I head up uh, the Bravehearted Men's Group uh, at the Resurrection Center. And today's topic is called Stand Up. Um, and this was for a presentation for Friday, August 27th, 2021. Um, and the purpose of this video is to give a summary of everything that was talked about. So uh, the first thing that, that I'm going to talk about is what defines you as a man. It's what you say. You see, it comes first from your heart, then to the mind and out your mouth. Let me say that again. What defines you as a man is what you say. That means what comes out of your mouth. But it first goes from the heart, processed in the mind, and then out your mouth. Now, we'll also talk a little bit later. I'm going to explain the meaning of this later. We're going to talk about how men can live better. Uh, but uh, the, the five steps are is to understand your wrongdoings. The next one is to empty out the bad. That's remove it. Fill it with the good. It's all about God. Thank the Lord. And then talk more with God. Again, I'll explain the meaning of that later. Okay. So let's first talk about uh, the fact that we all have a journey, past, present, future. See, that's the journey. So these are the kinds of questions. Where did you come from? Where are you now? And where are you going? So your past, it's the history that you can't change. So you, ha you have a challenge of what you have accomplished. You have an action, uh, something you took to accomplish it, and then the result or positive outcome. The revelation is uh, this phrase that we developed here uh, where I work, uh, drive your car to success, C-A-R, challenge, action, and result. Your past is based on a challenge you accomplished, the action you took to accomplish it, and the result or positive outcome. So if you want to see God work in your life, think of what's already happened. Think of the challenge you had. Think of the action you took to accomplish it and the result or positive outcome. And think of how God was actually in the middle of all of that. Now, your future is guided by God. So what are your goals? Think, think of how God can uh, guide you. There are these things called SMART goals, S-M-A-R-T. They're specific, they're measurable, they're attainable, they're relevant, they're time-based. Basically, goals are very specific. If you are at peace, with the goal-making process, that's how you know you're being guided by the Holy Spirit, and it's with God's approval. Um, and now let's talk about uh, today. The, today is your bridge from your past to your future. So today is basically a pit stop. It's a pit stop of the challenge that you took action on with a result, and it bridges you to your future goals. So the question that is asked is, what from the past is stopping your future? What needs to be done to fix that? And what does the result look like? Uh, well, what you'll be doing today is simply similar to what you did in the past. You'll have a challenge, you'll have an action, and there will be a result. And it will come to conclusion knowing that God was in the center of all of that. Okay? Let's talk more about the men behavior. Men are generally expected to be strong, aggressive, and bold. The traits traditionally are viewed as masculine Western society, including strength, courage, independence, leadership, and assertiveness. So what's the expectation? Strong, aggressive, bold. What are the characteristics? Courage, independence, leadership, assertiveness. See, that's what makes men, men. What is the role of a man? The role of a man is to be a provider, a protector, a leader, and a teacher. Think of how you are with your loved ones. Maybe you have children, okay? Now let's talk about the values every man must have. What are the values? What is the stereotype of those values? Well, there's courage, there's humility, there's kindness, self-confidence, tender aggression, focus, honesty, self-respect, self-esteem, and being grounded. Those are the values every man must have. Now, every man does go through struggles. What are those struggles? Well, it's loneliness, it's self-doubt, it's lack of direction, and a lack of respect. These are the struggles 
that men go through. And what is the result of those struggles? Well, we lose motivation to go on. Life is stuck on autopilot and you're scared by your own vulnerability. Let's talk about the statistics, not so much in numbers, but more in terms of trends. Men are less likely to have deep friendships. Number two, men are more likely to become alcoholics. Men are more likely to be drug addicts. Men are more likely to commit suicide. Men are more likely to lose in family court. Men are less likely to report domestic abuse. Men are more likely to be homeless. Men are more likely to die at work. And number nine, the social, the societal rift, I should say, the societal shift towards feminism is leaving men feeling underrepresented. Okay, now let's talk about this CAR, C-A-R, the challenge action result. CAR, when we talk about drive your car to success, it's proof that God is with you. See, there's the challenge you had. It's the action that you were guided with through the Holy Spirit. What's the result? It's your testimony. When you drive your car to success, that is how you see you are not alone. God is in control. Now, I'm going to talk a moment about the five steps to feel good. Okay, the five steps to feel good. In my introduction, I, I put it in simple terms. The first one was to understand your wrongdoings. Empty the bad, remove it is the second one. The third one is fill with good. It's all about God. And the next one is thank the Lord and finally talk more with God. Now I'm going to break it down into some more detail. Number one, the five steps to feel good. Repent. That means express sincere regret or remorse about a wrongdoing or sin. It's an acknowledgement. Know who you are. Be real. Number two, deliverance. What is deliverance? It's the action of being rescued or set free. What does it involve? Rebuke, renounce, cast out. Rebuke, you express sharp disapproval or criticism. Renounce, you formally declare one's abandonment of something. Uh, you cast out, you exclude someone from a group or a place. So you can uh, cast out demons. Um, number three, let's talk about consecrate. That means to declare the Holy Spirit inside of you as sacred. You see, you make the choice. God wins of the devil. Accept Jesus as your Lord and Savior and consecrate your purpose unto the Lord. Everything you do is unto the Lord. And number four, worship. It's a feeling or expressing of reverence. That's a respect and or adoration. That's the love. So speak it. The truth comes from the voice. The next one, daily activity as part of your communication with God, and you experience the love for God as he has for you. And number five, talk to God and pray. Now, you may have seen some articles uh, about this, uh, I, uh, this plan or design of prayer. It's called ACTS, A-C-T-S, uh, which means adore, confess, thanks, and seek. What does that mean? Adore. That means you're giving God praise and honor for who he is as Lord overall. Next, confess. Honestly deal with the sin in your prayer life. Um, give thanks. Verbalize gratitude for you and what God has done for others. And finally, seek. Seek God's help. That's what Acts is. It's, there's another one uh, called pray, P-R-A-Y. Praise, repent, ask, and yield. Uh, praise, that means to give thanks. Repent, it's to ask for forgiveness for something you've done wrong. Ask, ask for God's help, and finally yield to God's commands or principles. Listen for God's voice. So in summary, how can men live better? Understand your wrongdoings, empty the bad and remove it, fill with good, it's all about God, thank the Lord, and talk more with God. My name is David Ewan from the Bravehearted Ministry at the Resurrection Center. Thank you for joining me.